Hello and welcome to Know Your Crewmate. I'm Ryan Shank and I'm joined by two NASA astronauts, Nick Haig and Ann McLean. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us. I'm going to be asking you two questions about each other to figure out how well you actually know your crewmate. Okay. So this first question is going to be about Ann. What is Ann's favorite thing to fly? Okay. The ISS. Oh. And what did you put? He, he is right-ish, <laughs> but I uh, always go with my first love, helicopters. But ever since she landed, all I, can, all I hear is how she wants to go back to space. So this is true. This... I think you might be right. <laughs> this next question is about Nick. Does Nick enjoy mountains or the beach more? What do you think? So, I think Nick enjoys both of them. Although growing up in Kansas, he didn't have a lot of either of them. But I happen to know that he really enjoys spending time in the mountains with his family. So I went with mountains. You betcha. Mountains, northern Beautiful. Idaho, next to a big lake with the family. Interestingly, we tried to catch that lake many times from the cupola, and it took us about a month before we could find the lake. The, the lakes that seem really, really big on Earth, you pass over just in no time in space. So yeah. we had a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. This next question is about Anne. What was Anne's favorite food on the ISS? So I'm going with the one that you enjoyed the most, not the one that you indulged in the most. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I, Gonna nail it. I said chocolate pudding cake. Chocolate pudding cake. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what is the most annoying thing Nick did when he was on the ISS? Oh. You, I think people imagine you would get on each other's nerves, but you really don't. Like you're such in the same predicament that if anything was annoying you, it usually was something that we were projecting onto the ground, right? So oh, I can think of one. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not even going to write down the answer. I just want to know what this was. It was a debrief point. <laughs> we were up there for three and a half months before Nick and Christina came. And, you know, we're used to, you, in that time, you get really used to what you have. And I got used to, your food is one thing that you always have. You know what you have. You know what your crewmate likes and everything like that. Um, but when Nick arrived, I had somebody else that liked to eat M&M's. <laughs> had some competition for those M&M's. Which was actually probably very good for me. <laughs> well, one final question for both of you. Why is it important to know your crewmate while you're on the International Space Station? I think it's important um, not only to know your crewmates, but to be vulnerable enough to allow yourself to be known because when you are in a small vehicle accomplishing a really challenging mission for six and a half months, there's no hiding places. So your crewmates are gonna know uh, your strengths, your weaknesses. Uh, they're gonna know what type of crewmate you are, uh, how you enjoy relaxing, where you get your energy from, what it takes for you to get up for a big event. Up there, we depend on each other. Our lives depend on each other. And so you wanna know that person as, as well as you can. And you know, before we ever launch, we know each other and we're friends with each other. And you don't, you don't go to the station in this small space with strangers. You go there with family and you know your family. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to learn more about these two awesome astronauts and stay up to date with 730, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.